doesn't he? Every game. Jeff, he's a really difficult matchup here. Aaron Sell gives up a lot of weight in the post. And again... He has to go out and guard him on the perimeter. Yes. Inside, outside score. Of course, Aaron Sell can shoot it himself. See if that... Is, if he can make his shots and pull him away from the basket. Here he is. First chance and a little short. That's a key statistic as we move forward tonight. Panika from the top of the key. Poirier been shooting 58.3% from the line, averaging 5.9 points per game. So it hasn't been his strong suit, the free throw line. Panitka, will it be his fourth? No, it will not. Panitka, oh, over the shoulder pass, and and on the contact travels. Missed opportunity there for France and their ninth turnover of the game. Slaughter, will they get it back to Bautzerowski? Wanted to, they had it covered. So, went back, oh look. Bautrowski alertly caught it, put it up, but wasn't able. Like what Cole has done, getting Terry Tarte, the defensive whiz, in the starting five. I mean, it's an interesting move, uh, but, you know, obviously they started with Al BC last game. Uh, Hertel starts here, and then Tarpe is inserted. You know, he, he knows his team best, trying to find out uh, the best lineups that are going to be successful. Now France can take their first lead of the game. Kobo drifts in. You gotta love a big man that can grab the rebound and push the ball up the court like Sabonis. That dribble bust out really helps trigger your transition. Gregonis gets blocked by Poirier. He thought he was going to get a step back. He gets it over to Fournier, wide open three. What a great play for France! Great job by Al. Just looking into a sea of Lithuania supporters when he takes his free throws. Like, like you said, he feels like he's at a home game right now. Beats Zyskowski, a little runner. A little short, or a little long rather. And this is the problem. 
Here's Fournier, wide open for three. Ooh. Tough shot with Gobert. Rim protecting. Carpe flies in, what a shot. He explodes. Missed it badly. And now the lob. Shot clock winding down. The pass to Melly goes to Yapaselli. Here comes Rotel on the open floor. Good decision to hold up. And great pass. And he was strong with it. We'll cut it to three. The deficit now is back up to 12. Spain outscoring them 11 to 9 in this third quarter. Poirier is checked into the game. Devicelli gets it to him. Points. Quick pass to Gobert. You can't trade buckets though. They got to get it. Tom Hertel. Oula! Elle est fournie. Bien joué la passe directe. Et la faute de Melly. La troisième. Et qui ne gagnera pas celui-là. C'est court. Oh, bon, Rudy Gobert. Il a pris trop de temps, peut-être. Le premier pick and roll, c'est bien de renverser. Ils sont battus, là. Voilà. Il y a des moments où il passe plus de temps en l'air qu'au sol, lui. Magnifique, c'est Vincent Thomas. Il opposé. Bravo, si ça va de temps. Ben oui. C'est top pour le collectif. Hi, Halilovic. Kolei is going to make a change. He's going to get Yavaseli back into the game. Quick pass, Poirier, and he lays it up. And Gobert is indeed going to come into the game now after that. France switched pick and rolls there. They got caught in between. Great passing, and Nurkic with a strong finish. Three-second violation. In the paint. And Jeff, look, Tarpe draws the assignment of Musa to start the game, and now with Roberson going crazy, Coach Collet puts Tarpe on Roberson, a defensive stopper for the French team. Still in the zone, but Brabant extends. Quick pass to Poirier. What a find from Hertel. Sully on the screen, especially this time of the game. Another look pass. Beautiful play into Poirier, and he's fouled by Halilovic.